returning the workspace menu to the default, I'll get my timeline back. And the timeline is one of the key areas in Final Cut where the touch bar is very useful. This button on the right hand side of the touch bar gives me a mini view of my timeline. Now, if I'm playing in here, and I'm just going to quickly turn that down. If I'm playing in my timeline, I can see the playhead moving along. And I can also use this to change which part of the timeline I'm actually seeing. It's just a quick drag on this gray area. You can also see when that area shifts if you start playing. The ends of the gray area become zoom controls. So I can zoom in far more easily and interactively than before. I can say, oh, right, I want to see the title. I can see that there's a purple title there. And all of these colors, of course, come from the roles, which I've assigned earlier. Because you've got quite a bit of resolution in the touch bar, you can see quite a number of stacked up clips, and it's especially useful in full screen mode. It's also one of the main reasons to hide the control strip, because it gives you full width access. You can now use the whole touch bar to see a timeline, otherwise you're a little bit restricted. Viewing though is only part of the story, and the touch bar does give you editing controls in the timeline, which are pretty good. I'll show you those next.